I have to get this out of the way, it bothers me. Listen to the original sound design for Benihima's attacks. Benihime! Now listen to the sound they got in the trailer. Notice this sort of a hurtful downgrade? But whatever, not a big deal, I'll live. More interestingly, there is a move that allows him to have more frame advantage on his moves, which is used for combos and pressure, while the game already has a mechanic that by default allows you to do this, so he gets a double, which in turn pretty much guarantees you combo loops. I mean, it still doesn't beat the Jinta Uru Wombo combo. It's pretty cool how he starts slow, and then just when he starts to speed up, the trailer cuts in and you only get a glimpse of Hado 91. They also do not show any of the character's ultimates, and judging by the description from the official site, he also has a counter that they didn't show. And that's not even mentioning the flash step mechanic that keeps being teased but never explained. I can continue glazing and say that he also has the biggest stat thingy, I don't know how those are called. Notice that there is a difficulty rating in stars, and that is a nice reference to a Bleach GC game. <laughs> So that we are clear though, Yoruichi has the highest movement speed in this game, and Chad has the lowest. But Chad flipping teleports in his trailer, and in no way does he look slow, which is thank god. Moreover, I, uh, and this is an extremely pre-release thought, alright? In here we're thinking that Chad can never lose. Chad's been defeated? He can't be dead. No way. It can't be possible. Chat's too strong to lose. I read the Google translated description for the official site, and if it says, when fully charged, he deals damage regardless of the amount of spiritual energy his opponent has, if it means that he has an unblockable when he's fully charged up. That means you gotta press some buttons to interrupt that, but they also give him a revenge attack, which is basically the type of attack that deals more damage if you try to interrupt it. So if you don't press buttons, unblockable. If you press buttons, uppercut revenge deck. Ease of use, 5 stars, by the way. Doesn't it sound like a more comprehensible and easy strategy than just get serious and press buttons, bro? I feel very conflicted about making a short video just for two trailers, so I'll try to wait until there is at least three or more next time I do something like that. And unless you guys don't mind, but just one last thought that I really want to get through. The one thing that I want to pitch devs, when you're making Orihime, Give her Aegis Reflector, I beg you. Actually, fuck the lore. Give her two Aegis Reflectors and my life is yours. Let me die.